Hey there guys, welcome back. This is the Dangling Gamer and I'm back with some more Pro Cycling Manager 2015. Because of the Tour de France that is starting this Saturday in Utrecht, in my hometown in the Netherlands, I wanted to do a Tour de France, the whole stage, um, but I've been thinking about it and I don't think it's fun to watch and it takes ages, so I plan to cut all the flat stages out and make it a little bit more spectacular, more fun. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad this option is back in the new 2015 edition because they had cut it out in an earlier edition. So eventually I want to have six, I want to cut this one. We have six stages. <coughs> Excuse me. So with the six stages, the uh, a lot of spectacle, a lot of climbing, and let's see which team I will choose. I don't want to play with the real top contenders like Contador. I want to see how far I can go. Yeah, maybe with Thibaut Pinot, with the Francais de Jeu. It is the Tour de France eventually. So I will select his team. I don't need any sprinters, only the climbers. Yeah, this seems right. Okay. Let's play. So, here we are, the first well, stage of the Tour de France. From where we finished off on I have turned all the, uh, the variable conditions off, so everybody has the same shape, is in the same shape. To keep it fair, to keep it, uh, to keep it more fun. And I have to be honest, with Pino I probably have the maybe 7th or 8th or ninth climber in this tour, at least Froome, Nibali, Quintana, Fonferda, they are better than me. So I have to be honest, I don't think I can win the whole stage. I, um, yeah, I still have to think about the, the strategy I'm going to play with. Maybe it, it doesn't make sense to keep following riders like Froome because and you can't win, you can't he beat them. The no so you have to be smart. To it, maybe maybe I can jump away. Maybe I'll have to change my tactics to, let's say, a top 5 finish. Um, I still think about that. So I'll come back to it later. Maybe I'll just make it up on the fly. We'll see how that goes. Well, first of all, I put my riders in front of the back so that it don't fall back when the pack cuts. A small group of riders are <coughs> trying to get clear of the bunch. And we need some protection for Thibaut Pinot, of course, because he's my one and only top guy. There he is. Okay, everybody's at his position. Well, let's have a look at the stage. As you can see, the stage is for, uh, for the most part flat. A little hill, maybe uh, that doesn't uh, doesn't have a big impact on the riders. Uh, of course, the the last mountain. That's where the differences are going to be made. Um, probably fast forward most of the stage to that place where anything going to happen I will not try to participate in an, um, in an escape I want to see what happens just with all my guys when I have them freshly and fit in the finale the pack is back on level terms well, let's see group. my team Pino Elison climbing 77 Genie's climbing 77, Jonasson climbers 76, 
Morabito 76, Murray 72, Roy 69, Vaikana 69, and Fisho 69. I have some some nice helpers over here. Well, the, the biggest contenders are Froome 84, Rodriguez, well, Contador of course, Nibali, Quintana. I won't name them, well, because I'm busy for the next few hours. It's an attack. Okay. I don't know if you watched my earlier movies, the gap is widening. It's now over videos. Um, I normally put my guys in front of the pack and then fast forward most of the game. Just keep them hydrated, get some deep drink. So that's what I'm going to do this this time too. Let's wait. One hundred kilometers left. I'm so glad this function is on it because it would be a disaster if you had to ride every stage all by yourself. It would take hours just for one stage, like in the real, the real cycling events. For Pinot, <coughs> we're on the foot of the hill, just maybe a minute more, and then a few more kilometers. Then we're going to play. It's getting down. Oh. Let them get a few more drinks for the last time. The pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams time. can't be happy with the breakaway. <coughs> I think that for this stage, I'm just going to wait, sit out, see who's strong, who isn't, how far I can get. And then the next stage is I can try to do something else. So for now I just have Pino. I think Contador is the biggest contender. Contador from... We've got 15 kilometers to the finish line. I'll try to get Pino in the wheel of someone like Kitana. Give him a little bit more help. There are reports of several riders in difficulty. Contador has a really good team with Kreuziger, Rogers, Micah, pretty strong riders. As you can see, he's giving it all. He wants to make the course, he wants to make it hard. Sean Sol, my only teammate who gaps. can stick a little bit with me. 28 riders left in the in the first group. He's not doing so bad. 
my channel so stay with me man I'm hesitating maybe maybe this is the right time to attack speed left. isn't that high no I, I'm just going to wait sit it out I don't want to lose a lot of time Wait and react. I know I can't win it. This is just to to see how good all the other riders are. Get a good feel on it. Eight kilometers left. Nobody, nobody wants to go. Five kilometers left. Maybe this is the time to go. I still don't really. Five kilometers remaining. Just doing it. Don't want to be sitting there. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but couldn't wait anymore. other guys are also coming let's try to stick with them this climb features some dreadful percentages come on Pino let's do this and there goes the mad burst for the final sprint victory for Joaquin Rodriguez third place it wasn't that bad didn't lose any time maybe some bonificational seconds it doesn't really matter. Let's speed it up. Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, uh, Joaquin Rodriguez won it. Spanish climber. Froome second. I got third. Didn't lose any time. Behind me, Contador Nibali Quintana. So I'm in the group of the real big favorites. And that wasn't that bad. Maybe I could have won it. But still, this isn't too bad. Let's skip to the second stage. stage introduced so we are back. Second stage. Get my guys up front of the back again. Pino, hey, I can wear the white jersey. The jersey for the best young rider. After that, that's nice. Climb up from Maybe that's a good goal for me. Like a good goal for this well, competition, for this Tour de France. The Winning the white jersey, of course. I have Nairo Quintana. He's a, he's a better climber than me. He's the only real other contender. But that's nice. Maybe a little bit of dueling with him. But. With third place last time, last stage, and with possibilities to win it, I'm not feeling that bad. 
I'm confident. Maybe, maybe I can, I can win at this stage. As you can see, pretty hilly. The gap is widening. One is big that mountain after that. The from the Oa category, the, the biggest mountain, a long way downhill, so maybe players like cyclists like Nibali are are the favorites for the stage. He's a real good guy. Yeah. Going downhill, down the mountain. I believe they call him the Eagle or the Falcon. The Falcon, I think it's the Falcon. And after that. Another little mountain, so a lot of possibilities to win or lose some time. But we're not there yet. Okay. Diva Pino. Let him take position near Quintana, the guy I want to duel with, my nemesis for the next stages. This is going to happen a lot. So let's speed it up. Just keeping the guys hydrated. really have no idea what, what the favorites are trying to do on this stage. Last stage they were pretty passive and I could attack just when I wanted to. I don't know if they let me again. Maybe Froome wants to attack by himself or Contador wants to win some time. Let's get a little view. Table. Okay, Contador, Nibali, and Katana probably want to make up some time. There's one group of riders. Joubert. Sicard, Buck, and Della Plus. No good climbers. I don't think they're going to make it. Again, I didn't put anyone in front. The leading groups because I just want to focus on Pino. Back still isn't really, really on a fast pace. Front group is leading by seven the minutes, more than seven minutes. It could work. The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The peloton has significantly increased its speed. Still, they're not going to make it. I'll bet my head on it.
Okay, we're on the foot of the first big mountain. Still don't think any any of the, the main contenders really is going to try to break away. Froome has put two guys in front of the pack. Keep the pace up high. Rodriguez with his yellow jersey. Same in front. Frank Schleck. Here, Quintana, Mollema, Delancey. All the big guys, the heavyweights in front of the pack. I don't think anyone of them is going to attack until the, the last, the, the really big mountain. Because you don't want to sit in front on your all by yourself, you're, you're dead before you make the end. Their front group is disorganized and some riders are exploiting this opportunity to attack. Front group. Shattered, They're only Cigar, 76 Climber, be able to get some strength back. It's the only one that is riding in front of the pack, the leading group. Like I said, I'm Dutch, so probably mix up some words, say some words that don't even exist. Don't get mad. Okay, we're on the foot of the, the really big here, the or category. A couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. Front group the pack has just overhauled. In the escape group. We will reel them in. Everybody is really passive. Just waiting, waiting till something's happening. I'll do something, Morabito. Spice of the course. Don't know if he's even able to get away. Oh, there he is. A rider is taking his chance alone. This Quintana, oh my guy. Where is Pino? Still pretty confident that the other teams are closing the gap for me or for us. Behind. 
team leader is falling behind. All of us going. Let's hope he has helped out quickly. My time to shine. So now it's the descent. It's less physically exhausting than a climb, but it's more stressful as the riders must choose their trajectory well and maintain a good position on the bike. So, we had the first mountain, the, the big mountain. Here comes Nibali, the falcon. Try to stick with him. You know, really can't, can't ride downhill. I hope I can follow the other guys. All by myself. This isn't looking too bad. Quintana is still in front of us. And I'm with an elite group with Rodriguez, Nibali, Contador, Froome, Richie Port, Pozzo Vivo, Roman Bardet, Daniel Martin, and Rui Costa. 20 kilometers left. Only 15 kilometers left. There goes Rodriguez. He's the only guy that wanted to, to ride. I really need to follow them. So we're back at Rodriguez. We punched a gap with Froome, Contador, and Ibali. That's great. And we have my nemesis, Quintana, in our sights. He can't stay away. We have him right now. So let's hope somebody is taking the initiative. Go, because I don't want Froome back. Oh, he's back. And he spurts away from the group. He's going for victory. Time for me to place an attack. No, no energy. I'm dead. Tempo really out of it right now I think everybody is to his last energy I'm taking my energy bar let's hope it's going to give me a little bit more energy just to get away from them or maybe follow we really don't know how the other guys are oh no attack by pods of Evo. Is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. Last two kilometers. I don't know why it's spraying because I didn't push any buttons. Now I did. Okay with that. 
pretty big group. Contador from the pack, I don't think anybody still has energy left to sprint. So that's why it's looking pretty slow. And the final sprint is off. Who's gonna be the first oh, to the line today? Adriana Mallory has fallen. Can't follow them. Don't have energy left. I hope I'm close enough to not lose any time. Victory for Joaquin Rodriguez. Finished ninth. After Rodriguez, we Costa, Chris Froome, Nairo Quintana. Alberto Contador, Pozzo Vivo, Daniel Martin, Nibali, and then there's me, Piba Pino. Let's speed it up. So, Joaquin Rodriguez won it again. Like I said, place 9. Didn't lose any time. I'm glad with that. Really happy. Let's see what the classifications are. I'm still placed on the third place, 4 seconds in front of Contador. 16 seconds behind Rodriguez, 6 seconds behind Froome. Hmm, I'm not. I'm pretty happy. I'm re pretty happy with that. I don't know if I can win it. I don't think so because I got beaten pretty hard on this stage. But we don't know yet. We still have 4 stages to go. And this is the end of the first video. And if you like this, please su subscribe or like this video, give me the thumbs up and hope to see you on the, on the next video on stages 3 and 4. And we'll see how Thibaut Pino can compete with the big guys, with the, with the big, big players.